Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan and today I'm making a video about my CO2 degassing wand I recently made for my investment casting setup. Degassing is a very important step in the process for preparing molten aluminum for investment casting. Degassing is a process in which we remove hydrogen gases which have been dissolved into the aluminum in order to ensure we don't have any porosity issues which could be a direct result of having gases dissolved into our molten aluminum. The way hydrogen gas could be dissolved into the aluminum is by having water introduced into the molten aluminum before it's poured. Water reacts with molten aluminum to produce aluminum oxide and hydrogen gas, which is dissolved into the aluminum, and that is the issue we're trying to solve. The water could be introduced from a number of sources, but it's most likely from our graphite crucible. It's quite humid here in Chicago. This graphite crucible could have some moisture condensed onto it or absorbed into it. We also use things like graphite stir rods along with other tools to check the molten state of the metal as well as to stir in things like fluxes. And this is also made out of graphite. It could have moisture condensed onto it or absorbed into it. There are a few other sources, but ultimately there, are, there is going to be some water introduced and we need to be able to remove the hydrogen that is a result of that. The way people go about doing that is by using other inert gases uh, to produce bubbles in the aluminum. These inert gases bubble up through the aluminum and as they travel through the aluminum, the hydrogen is absorbed into the bubbles and is carried out into the atmosphere away from the aluminum and this results in a cleaner product. The way that I have gone about doing that in the past is by using sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. I would use some aluminum foil. I would fold it into a pouch like so. I would fill up the pouch with the baking soda. I would then take my crucible and my graphite stirring rod and I would push this pouch all the way to the bottom of the molten aluminum. The aluminum foil would melt, the baking soda would dissolve, and CO2 gas would come from the baking soda uh, and bubble up through the surface, and it would work pretty well. As soon as I started using this method, my results, in terms of the final result of the cast, they became tremendously better. Uh, really awesome results since I started doing this. However, it is a slightly messy product uh, process. You can see here, this is my current graphite crucible I'm using. There's white powder residue all over it on the inside. There's some on top of my furnace machine. And while it's worth it, no doubt, to have higher quality results, I would like to improve this process so I can have a cleaner setup, not have to make pouches every single time, uh, and just to have an easier, cleaner, possibly better process. In the industri industrial realm, they use rotary degassing, in which they use compressed gases such as nitrogen, CO2, or argon, and they have a wand or a uh, some kind of stirring mechanism that is inserted into the molten aluminum and, and injects the gas without having some other intermediate compounds such as baking soda. And that's kind of what I've come up with. Uh, so basically what this is, it's a system which consists of a 16 gram CO2 cartridge. It has a thread, so it can be removed and uh, they're disposable, but you can get refillable versions. And it basically threads into this pressure regulator here. This pressure regulator was meant for a beer carbonation system. There's a nice pressure gauge and a control dial. And basically you can, uh, you can lock in the pressure you want. And uh, basically once you're done, you push this button here and it releases the gas out of this end. The way this would work is you would essentially just insert this bottom part into the graphite crucible. You could then push this button and the CO2 would bubble through the aluminum and hopefully do the job that the sodium bicarbonate was doing. I hope it can do a better job. I have yet to test it and that's what we're about to do. So I have some of my aluminum here. This is pretty dirty aluminum. It came off of a car wheel, off of a scrapyard in Chicago. It has some paint on it along with other things, other impurities, and it's humid here today, like I said, so there will be no doubt water introduced, hydrogen in our aluminum that we need to remove. It will be a good test of this system for the first time. So let's go ahead, put some of this in the furnace, and we'll test out our degassing wand. I'm going to go ahead and add some of our aluminum into the crucible. I'm not going to weigh it. I'll just add it, and uh, we'll pour it into our graphite ingot mold. 
that looks good. I'll close up the crucible and turn on the furnace and we'll let that melt. Once it's molten, we will go ahead and try our degassing one for the first time. The aluminum has fully melted and I am going to insert a new CO2 cartridge into the degassing wand. One cartridge will last for about one minute at full pressure, which is about 40 PSI according to this gauge. The density of aluminum is about three times as high as the density of water, and I did test this in a bucket of water that is about three times as deep as my crucible is, and that leads me to believe that this should have enough pressure to bubble through the aluminum. I'm going to start off at a lower pressure and work my way up for safety purposes. I don't have anything in the end, the opening is quite large, I'm considering adding steel wool to get finer bubbles, but for now this is what I am testing with. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I have set the degassing wand to about 10 PSI, so I'm going to go ahead and open up our crucible. I will insert the degassing wand and I will try to use it. So this is how it works. You just push this button and the gas comes out. I don't know if you can hear it, but let's see how this looks. All right, so there are bubbles at 10 PSI. That looks good. I'm gonna continue to use the gas as the aluminum is pulled out. And the opening is still clean. There's definitely some aluminum stuck on the end, but the gas flow path is still open, which is good. I think I'm going to go and increase the pressure a little bit and see how that looks. So I'm going to put my phone down and uh, turn it up. I've turned up the pressure on the degassing wand to about 20 PSI and I'm going to see how this looks. I was able to get a lot of the aluminum off of the tube just by uh, using pliers or scraping it off, which is good. I'm going to start the gas before I insert it and continue to release gas as I take it out. So this is definitely more of a violent bubble, almost reaching the top, as you can see. So I think a uh, good number is somewhere in between, between 10 and 20. Uh, but yeah, that's looking really good. My hand is getting slightly warm, but it's still comfortable. I'm not in discomfort. The cartridge actually gets quite cool as it releases gas, uh, which <laughs> it's kind of funny. You have really hot, really cold. Somewhere in between, it's a little bit more comfortable. I may add a little baffle here. Uh, it seems like it could help a little bit, like a little metal plate just to uh, block some of the direct conduction heating. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put some flux into here, use my graphite stirring rod, and then I will pour it and we'll see how the ingot looks. I just added some flux, so now we have degassed and cleaned our aluminum. It's looking good, and I am ready to pour the aluminum into the mold, so let's go ahead and do that. The ingot has been cooling for a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and quench it. Now I should be able just to take it out. This ingot is pretty indistinguishable from ingots I have made in the past. And I think the real test of my degassing wand will come when I go to cast something in an investment casting situation, which will be hopefully tomorrow. I am happy with this still because it is very similar to the, 
the ingots I've made in the past and I didn't have to use the baking soda this time. It was a cleaner process. I didn't have any kind of splatter or anything like that. And uh, like I said, we'll see how the results come out when I do a real investment cast, but this ingot looks fine. And I'm happy with how the degassing wand worked. It was easy to use. It was comfortable. My hand didn't get too hot. The aluminum didn't stick to the gas shaft too much. I was able to clean up what did stick to it. And in general, I think it will work well and last longer. It will make my setup cleaner and have I'll have to do less work to achieve the same results, which are all great things. So that's it for now. I hope you found this interesting, possibly learned something new, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.